Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're just gonna be hanging out outside, checking out all the turtles in the pond and feeding them all and just making sure that everyone went through the little cold snap okay. Now before we get started with today's video, I'm actually wearing the shirt of the man who basically taught me all I know about building ponds on YouTube, the Pond Digger. If you wanna get some shirts because I have helped you learn things, hit the link right up over here and head over to my Teespring where you can get some cool designs of some different turt shirts that I think that you guys will enjoy. If you go there, that will help to support the channel, but if you want to go the extra step to helping me and afford food for my kids, hit the link up over here and head over to my Patreon where you get exclusive access to photos, videos, behind the scenes stuff, videos a day early, turtles when I have them available, all kinds of good stuff. So go check that out. So with all that stuff out of the way, let's get started. Okay, turtle nerds. So it was super cold last night and chilly all day yesterday. So today all of the turtles were up basking. Dragon fruit is looking to graze on some algae and probably some waterfall foam because she is insane. And I just want to show you this water. I've had the hose on for the past 30 some odd minutes and it's still barely making a dent in how much water I need to replace. So clearly I'm losing like a lot of water. I have a friend coming though in a couple days so hopefully he can help me figure out exactly what's going on. Our lovely Miss Flipper here has the same perky attitude as normal but I can see that she still has eggs. We got our spotless ornates going crazy and trying to breed with beans so I'm hoping to get them some girlfriends. These guys are also hungry hungry as we know I did not feed them yesterday. Let's take a look in the bog. Everything's really growing together fantastically. I saw some photos from last year when I first finished the bog. Compared to now it's a complete jungle. Those irises are getting huge. These umbrella palms are massive. These elephant ears have just spread to everywhere. The umbrella palm I even planted over here is starting to come back which is interesting because I didn't think that they could grow not in the water. I'm hopeful that Flipper will maybe go lay some eggs today which would be great. Yeah but Besides my leak, I've got no complaints. This pond is really doing good. I'm very happy. My lily pads are starting to come in. I just need some more of those and we will really be in business, y'all. Now, the reason that I'm using direct tap water is because the amount of water that I'm replacing is kind of negligible. I only use dechlorinator if I'm replacing a significant amount of the water and I'm only adding like 10, maybe 15% of the water volume, which is not enough to cause problems. And if I see the fish starting to react negatively, then maybe I'll throw some in, but usually you really don't need to add the chlorinator if you're just topping off the pond. What I find kind of interesting is that Flipper, by just palpating her, should be ready to lay those eggs any day now. And she definitely knows how to dig a nest because last year she went right on up to the beach and was able to dig two nests just fine. But I don't know, it's kind of curious to me why she hasn't gone and laid them yet. And as this whole thing is filling up, we're gonna check on Jelly and Mr. Otis, or Miss Otis, not really sure yet. See how they did with the cold? There is Jelly right there, right down there. And we can see he's doing just fine, living a-okay. And this water should heat back up fairly soon with the air temperatures rising quickly. We're not gonna feed him just because I want it to warm up a little bit more before doing that. And also before I forget that I'm filling up the pond, we're gonna go and turn it off because otherwise I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna forget. I've done that before. It was not a good time. I left it on for I think four or five hours. All my fish were gasping at the surface. It was not good. Thankfully though, the rate that the water was filling, how do I put it? The chlorine was gassing off, was dissipating because there's chlorine in tap water. That's why we use a dechlorinator. The chlorine was gassing off because of the waterfall and just the surface area. The more contact it has with air, the more that the chlorine will have an opportunity to evaporate. It was evaporating faster than it was filling and being replaced, thankfully. So that was scary because it could have killed all my fish. Luckily, everything went okay. Hello, mister. Hi. Let's go feed the turtles, Louie. I literally... He licked my camera. My puppy licked the camera lens, dude. After literally like laying out in the grass with my dog, because I don't know, I feel like we don't do that enough as like people. It's actually nice and warm. So now I kind of know how the turtles feel when they're basking. Well, there's a couple of terrapins that I want to grow a little bit quicker in particular because I want them to be breeding size sooner rather than later. That way they can give me pretty little babies. So what we're gonna do is take them and put them in the mini pond and then feed them there and maybe do a light feeding for everyone else. That way they can eat to satiation while everyone else just gets to kind of eat a little bit. So the terrapins in particular that we're going to be feeding are little mochi right there and crouton right there. And also little Coco who I just found hiding in the skimmer. Hello Crush. I'm trying to take a thumbnail and Crush can smell the food in my hand and here he comes. Look at you you little beauty. Go ahead in buddy. <laughs> She bit me! 
I'm trying to take a thumbnail, dragon fruit. And she knocked food in the water, so now she's learning that that works. Let's get some food in the mini pond and then get some of these smaller ones in here. Let's find those smaller terrapins. Hi, Crouton, come here. Look at this little beauty. All right, go ahead. And now we need mochi and cocoa. Here's mochi. Ooh, she's getting a good size. She's starting to get a little large. Let's let her go. Oh, send in Coco. I almost just fell in the pond. No, 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 no. Don't go back out. Nope. Here you go. Let's take some of this food. Toss it in like that. And what's funny is the food is just skimming off the surface. Hello, Pancake. What brings you here? The food is skimming off the surface and going down the stream and into the main pond. So all the fish and turtles are going crazy huddled up over here. Let's feed these boogers now. It's sad when that is considered a light feeding. Look at them koi going crazy. Enjoy, manja, manja. So I know that we really didn't do much today, but sometimes we just get to enjoy the benefits of having a beautiful turtle pond and we just get to feed everyone and have some fun with them. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.